Technology continues to improve in all aspects of our world, and one that's made great strides is weather satellites. Yeah, that can really save lives, yeah. right? CBS 17 storm meteorologist Rachel Dunsing joins us live to explain what's next for weather forecasters. Rachel, it's so advancing, it's hard to keep up with. Yeah, but that's kind of the whole point is as technology continues to improve, we want to continue that. And this next satellite, well, it's about the size of a small school bus. It weighs about 6,000 pounds, and it's also a game changer for anyone who has to deal with the weather. Two, one. In just under a month, the newest weather satellite will be launched into space from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It's called GOES-T, and it's the third in a series of four new weather satellites, with the first launching back in November of 2016. Once it's in orbit, it gets a slight name change to GOES-18, the 18th weather satellite in the entire GOES mission. GOES, or Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites, orbit more than 22,000 miles above the Earth at the same speed the Earth rotates, which means the satellite stays in the same spot in the sky and has a constant image of the same spot on the ground. The GOES mission began back in 1975, with the first few satellites only getting views of the Earth roughly 10% of the time. Nearly 50 years later, Dr. Jim Yeo explains improving technology means improving data. In 1975, this was sort of a wow, and now that the picture is a little bit more about how, how do we make use of this, this data? So why do we care about yet another weather satellite? Because it shows us more than just cloud cover. We really get a more integrated use of our environmental information. Again, we do call these environmental satellites, not merely weather satellites. With improved satellite technology, our prediction of everything from fog to wildfires to hurricanes improves. And we will be able to give better warning for lightning dangers and tornadoes. People are able to use these information, uh, the information coming from the satellites, again, in order to make effective, informed decisions for the, themselves personally, for their business, or for their communities. Yeah, so that data will then be put into our weather models and making those forecasts, those weather models, a little better. GOES-T will be in operation roughly 2023, early 2023, and will remain in operation through the 2030s. But by that point, the next generation of satellites will already be planning to take their place, and we can continue all this great data collection and, of course, improving our forecasts that we all started about 50 years ago. Live in Raleigh, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.